Hey, thanks for coming back to watch another video. This is a 1978 Johnson 9.9 .9, and it was gifted to my wife and I by my father-in-law. So thanks dad, appreciate it. Uh, we are going to be converting this motor to a remote control from a tiller and we will be mounting this on the back of our pontoon boat as an auxiliary motor should something happen to our main motor. So uh, I'm gonna take you through that process. It might be a couple of videos long uh, to get this running to get it through mounting, to hooking up all the controls and such. This motor probably hasn't run in 15 to 20 years. My wife and I started dating in 2006, so that was roughly 14 years ago. Uh, to my knowledge, this never ran since then, and it could have been quite a few years prior to that, really, since it's been on the water. Um, so stick around. First order of business is to make sure that this motor is running and in good condition. Here she is under the hood, and you can see she's in really good shape. I don't think, honestly, this motor was used very much. I think it was stored for most of its life. It's in very, very good condition inside and out. One of the things I'm going to be looking for here is just looking at all of the flexible fuel hoses and all of the wires just to make sure they are in good condition and I don't see any obvious issues. I'll go ahead and give it a slow pull just to make sure she's turning. Yep. And I felt a little bit of compression there, so I think we're good there too. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get these spark plugs out, spray a little fogging oil inside, and uh, really give it a good crank and see how she's spinning. That plug looks brand new. I don't even know if that's been fired before. Same with that one. May as well check for spark while we're at it. That one definitely sparking. I'll spark on that too. While we're at it, we'll go ahead and test our compression. Maybe a hundred and five PSI on that top cylinder. Just under a hundred. We got right at a hundred. So we're good. Both cylinders. Go ahead and put her back together. The other thing we want to check is that we don't have any water infiltration to the lower unit. So I'm just going to crack this drain plug and just let a little bit out. Make sure we don't have any water settled on the, on the bottom. And if we're good, which I suspect we will be, yep, there's a little bit of 
gunk in it. So before we run this motor on the actual water, we're going to uh, do a, a lower unit gear change, or uh, gear oil change rather, so that we are assured we have fresh good oil in there, but that'll be good enough just to get it running. Make sure we're not running any water in the lower unit. Good to go. So I'm not actually sure how this was put away. There is a chance that I'm going to have to pull the carburetor and give that a good clean out. I don't know if non-ethanol fuel was used or if regular ethanol fuel was used. I don't know if it was run dry the last time. I just don't know any of that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and mix up some pre-mixed fuel and we're going to try to get her started on the water muffs. Um, but there is a chance that I might have to pull that carburetor. So we will see. This is one of the two gas cans that my father-in-law gave us, and the inside looks, you can see, it's very clean in there, I don't know if you can see, but it was definitely stored the right way. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up one gallon of 50 to 1 and uh, go ahead and put it in that tank because that's the one that the little squeeze ball fits on. And that's the one we'll use to get her fired up, but I'm just gonna do one gallon to, to start her off. So I'm gonna mix this just a little bit rich because it hasn't run in a while. I just want some extra protection, so I'm mixing a little bit closer to uh, 40 to one instead. So. I'm, This is premium grade, non-ethanol fuel. I've got this all outside now. I've got the can hooked up. She's firmed up. So I think that our float valve is in good shape. No leaking. That's a good sign. We should be ready to go. I'll go get hit the water. on the lever. Slow shift start. I'm just gonna guess and say like three pulls. Could be wrong.
running long enough to warm up real good. And I just want to try shifting, make sure everything's working good. Oh yeah. She's a runner. <laughs> well, maybe kind of a short video, but I'm super happy. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and get that lower unit um, pulled apart so I can change the water pump impeller and the water pump housing and, uh, and uh, change all the gear oil and stuff. And I'll go ahead and video that too. But this is the end of the Will It Run segment.